Madam President, fellow Toastmaster and honored guests, very good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Today I'll be presenting a rather dry topic, which is RCC 101. I believe most of you guys here are drivers. And yes. Yes. Even, even for myself, I take car servicing as a chore. I will do some research about car servicing because <coughs> I started my own startup last year and it's about it's an online booking platform for car servicing and maintenance. In short, it's an Airbnb for car trucks. <laughs> Eventually, I have to pick up the technical aspect of car servicing. Plus, my dad used to be the one that brings all the car at home to servicing or he will arrange someone else to do it. But that was many years ago. Now I'm a very responsible adult and I take all the car. <laughs> These are the contents of the topic today. It covers what is car servicing, what is engine oil change, how often you should you do it, how much you expect to spend, and what happens if you don't service your car on time. I have a couple of questions. Anyone here do not bring your own car for servicing? Can you raise your hand? Anyone that don't bring your car in for servicing? Oh, everyone here service your own car, that's great. For those that do, anyone that do not know what's being done to your car while servicing? Raise your hand. Great, I was afraid no one will raise their hand today because if you guys understand car servicing, well, means I have to start wrapping up now. <laughs> <coughs> What is car servicing? I always tell my friends that a car is very similar to being a person or a human. When, whether or not you, sorry, humans should go for periodic medical checkup, whether or not you think you have a problem, just like how you should send your car in for servicing and maintenance once or twice a year. Another scenario is when you are not feeling well, you go to the doctors, for a checkup, just like when your car breaks down, you have to send the car in to the garage. Okay. So, car servicing is generally medical checkup. <coughs> the definition is checking the condition of the car and changing certain fluids or parts. It can access to general wear and tear, fluids in the engine, brake pads, suspension, and many more. It contains up to 50 components, systems, maintenance, and some of them include the shop shares, as you can see, like engine oil, change, filter replacement, testing of battery conditions, theory alignment, suspension check, and hydraulic fluid and coolant levels. Uh, I'll talk a bit on the fuel inspection check and visual inspection. <coughs> if you bring your car in to the authorized dealership, mechanic usually will complete a full inspection check because you already paying a premium for it. Can I like, raise your hand who brings your car to the authorized dealership for servicing? Yeah. 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 For those who do not, if you go to independent workshop outside, usually the mechanics <coughs> do a visual inspection or if a good one, they will probably top up all the fluids in the car, <coughs> such as uh, coolant, brake fluid, same fluid. So what I'm trying to get at going, picking a very good workshop is very important so that it maintains your car's well. What is engine oil change? The purpose of engine oil is it keeps your engine for wearing out. Um, one of the main procedures when you bring your car in for normal service, it contains oil change. It also contains like oil filter and maintenance check. So these three are the most common things when you bring your car in for servicing. Why is it important? It's important because it coats your engine and also lubricates all the individual <coughs> parts so that it reduces friction and stress so that your engine will not wear out so quickly. You guys know this one? Have you guys seen this? Yes. This one? Yes. No. yes. yes. This uh, yes. engine oil filter, by the way, and this uh, one of the engine oil you can find in the workshop. How often should you do it? In general, it's every 10,000 km 
or six months on average. Oh. I'll see you guys a uh, Chris. If I drive the car for six months, mm. but I haven't hit the ten thousand kilometers yet, mm. should you service your car still? Yes. I don't know. Sorry. Yes. Um, <laughs> after the meeting. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 Raise your hand. The answer is yes. Is one or the other. The main reason is because engine oil deteriorates mm. over time due to oxidation yeah. and moisture. And they also can get contaminated by the fuel that goes into the engine, uh, the piston rings. So over time, you will get contaminated uh, and it's actually bad for your engine. Yeah. So I'm actually guilty of this. My last <laughs> racing, <laughs> I actually drilled for 10 months. <laughs> although I haven't oh. hit this one yet. So after I hit it, I actually went on for a year. Then finally, Ooh. my dad forced me to change it. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys do that as well. <laughs> How much do you expect to spend? <coughs> so the numbers here are taken from hundreds of quotations that I that my company have collected. Actually the numbers here are in sing dollars. To convert it to ringgit is roughly almost one to one plus a fifteen to twenty percent markup. So that's why a lot of my Singapore clients <coughs> like to come to JB for servicing because <coughs> roughly save a third of the servicing price. <coughs> Asian cars, it contains Japanese car, Korean cars, and you can expect a price range of 90 to 130 is sing dollars again. <coughs> Continental cars like your BMW, yeah, Mercedes, Audi, usually a car service, uh, service package costs about 110 to 160 dollars. Mm. Uh, take note, this price only contains engine oil change. Engine oil filter and engine oil filter and uh, maintenance check. Wow. Three factors that apply the price of your service package. They are the type of engine oil you use, type of oil filter, and the labor charges. If you don't service your car, your engine will fail and it's actually to fix and it reduces fuel consumption. Thank you.